everybody, uh, so all the country are facing a new disease. Nobody knows how to treat them. So there's no effective uh, drugs available for this kind of target treatment. So this, we have been trying some of them, like this one, we call the Kalitra, which is introduced you know, since the outbreak of SARS 17 years ago. So chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine, an IR-6 receptor antibody, so uh, so that's uh, dealing with the cytokine storm. This is a Chinese herb, like the Lianhua Qingwen capsule, and also hydrogen oxygen mixed gas inhalation, which is uh, very simple and be used like uh, oxygen inhalation. And remdesivir, and uh, remdesivir have, have been showing some uh, efficacy of that. So first of all, the Kalitra. So after a, random, a randomized uh, control study, that's the first study in Wuhan, and uh, uh, based on the time for clinical improvement, so you can see, uh, so the, the treatment group and the control group, it shows no difference in shortening the duration of clinical improvement. And also it shows no difference in the significant uh, reduced virus load. That's a Kalitra, seems to be disappointed of this one. That second one, so we have done, so will be published soon. So clinical application of chloroquine. So we, uh, from the laboratory test, so by using uh, 500 milligrams twice a day, that means uh, for 10 days. So now we change because of the toxic, uh, some uh, adverse effect. We use uh, five milligram, 500 milligrams uh, twice a day for two days, and the other eight days, just five milligrams, uh, 500 milligrams in uh, close to 200 pa uh, patients in 10 the hospital. So the plasma concentrations up to one to 1.5. I think this is enough uh, to, to, to kill the, the uh, uh, COVID-19 virus because the EC50 is quite close to that. So EC50 is only 1.13 micromole per liter. So this is, we have also found the target proteins, three ECL for protein for COVID-19. So this is the result because it's not published yet. So I just show you some of the results rather than show you some picture. So the patient receive a chloroquine, so have a short time as compared with control, three days versus nine days. And then by, uh, by the day of 10, of day 14, a higher proportion of patients with virus uh, turn into negative. So, and also the fever significantly shorter in chloroquine uh, group. And this is uh, another study. I think this is only 20 patients. So I, I suppose you have seen that. So the, the, uh, by, so our, our friends, colleagues, six mili, uh, 600 milligrams hydroxychloroquine daily. So, uh, so 200 milligrams uh, three times a day for 10 days. And virus load have been uh, in the nasal pharyngeal swabs have been checked every day. So depending on their clinical presentation, six patients have received as is rising. So uh, uh, for two, five mili, 500 milligrams per day, and then 250 milligrams, uh, the two to five fifth days. And this is the result with the, uh, the virus uh, turning to negative over time here. So you can see this is a uh, control group. And this is chloroquine group here, chloroquine group. And this is chloroquine plus azithromycin. Seems to be quite beautiful, but I suppose it is uh, less convincing. Still have no so solid evidence showing that uh, that's as effective, uh, very effective of this. So that's why so some of the country has started a mass control study looking at the hydroxine uh, chloroquine plus and this reminds him whether it is really working or not. So this is some Chinese herb. We have been using this one, we call the Lianhua uh, Qingwen uh, Jiaolang LHQ. So this kind uh, in the laboratory work, so we did the 
antivirus activity and anti-information activity in P3 uh, lab and show that this had a weak antivirus activity. However, it, it did show a very strong anti-information activity. And then we have uh, carried uh, carry our study. So clinical trial for this kind of Chinese service. So, so close to 200 patients, one when we onion one. And then the result is showing high overall recovery in the treatment group is compared with control. So, and also faster symptom recovery. So as compared with the uh, control group. And higher rate of uh, CT uh, improvement and it's compared with the control group. However, there's no significant difference or in conversion rate of severe case or the viral conversion time uh, in between two groups. So maybe this kind of Chinese herb will be effective in mild and non-severe COVID-19 patients. And then uh, convalescence plasma, second, which is really so effective. There are two papers. One is uh, in open, this is an open study published in JAMA and five critical ill patients, and then with ARDS, of course, and then donor. So convalescence plasma must uh, match this criteria with specific antibody binding for one in 1,000. And the second is a neutralization titer with more than 50, uh, 40. So the, uh, just one dose, 400 mils. So you can see, just very briefly, you can see the result. Uh, here is uh, circulation time. The higher the circulation time, the lower the virus load. You can see the virus loads going down. And the second is uh, the, the severity of the disease going down so far cost score. And then this oxygenation going up and temperatures going down. And this is just so. That's another uh, paper published in PNAS. Uh, also, the open study, recovered donors, that's uh, a little bit different from the, the last one. And then 10 patients received two times of 200 mils of convalescent plasma. And then, uh, and look, just look at the result. I, I suppose I just show you one of these. The serum, in terms of serum neutralization, uh, antibody is, is, uh, is very, uh, majority very much improved. And also the serum virus, uh, virus low. So this is uh, some still, you know, it's not weak, possibly. And the majority of them after uh, infusion of convalescence uh, plasma also negative. So the last one will be hydrogen oxygen mixed gas. Will be, will be. Actually, this is some uh, study, actually helium and oxygen mixed gas. And uh, 30 years ago, it used to treat the patient with deep sleep. So sort of free. So we use the hydrogen oxygen mixed gas because we just use a simple uh, equipment. We can change the, uh, the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Because the mixed gas, the hydrogen, the molecular waves, pretty the lowest as compared with nitrogen. So that's why the patient can relieve this uh, deep sleep and then pre prevent those patients from deterioration into critical ill. So the data will be coming out uh, the next uh, few, uh, I think, uh, next week. So 